everybody. Um, all right. I need to open this box up. I need to... My exacto knife. We are going to do some projects today and catch up. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom just popped on here. Okay. I am really excited for this paper pumpkin kit. Um, this is all about the new ink color. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Really quick, I just want to share with you, I put a post up yesterday that just, uh, I have four of these card kits. Let me grab the card so I can show you. All right, I should have grabbed those. Sorry about that. All right, so I have four of these card kits available. And um, in here is a quarter pack of this designer paper and then card kits to create these cards here. And then you get a pre-recorded video and a PDF with all of the measurements for these cards. This is a fun fold. You get all the die cuts, so you get the flower die cuts and everything. And then you will also get the stamp set in the moments, a set of watercolor pencils to do all the coloring because that's what I use in here to do all the coloring. And I show you how to do this really cool window technique um, with that image. Um, there's the fun fold card, super cute. And then a set of embellishments to use on the flowers and the cards. You guys know I love my uh, my bling there. Oops. So you'll get all of this, and I only have four of these available. So there's a link, and I will share the PayPal link when I'm done, and I um, am doing all of the editing for this video and getting it over to YouTube. Um, I will put the link. So if you're on YouTube, the link for this kit will be in the description. There's only four available, and if you click on the link and there's none left, it won't let you purchase. So it'll tell you my inventory is... Um, out. So I just have these. I made up um, when I was making kits. This was an ordering special last month. And when I made the kits up, I had four left. So I just thought if anybody was interested instead of them sitting around or me just throwing them away, maybe somebody would be interested. So if you're on YouTube, I'm not live anymore, but all of the links that you need are in the description below. And then, um, Oh no, Linda, do you have COVID? Oh, I'm so sorry that you've been so sick. Uh, I hope you get better before our paper party. I have a huge package coming to you with your club package, your club for this month, and then your paper party stuff and last month's ordering specials. So you'll actually be getting your kit, Linda, in your, I'm just shipping it all together. Um, and then also on YouTube, there is the time bar, which will be time stamped. So you can find what, you know, you can skip all the things you don't want to, um, all the things you don't want to see <laughs> or hear. Um, and then the last update, uh, is, is if you're waiting for your paper party or you're waiting for club this month or the ordering special, what I decided to do is just ship everything together because shipping is so expensive right now. Um, I am just shipping everything together. So several of you have a club, our Blessed to Craft projects, and then several um, of you have... Um, paper party or the ordering special, whatever you have that's coming from me this month is all going to come together. So I am working this week on getting everything packaged up and uh, ready to go. So just so you know. So today what I thought I would do is I just got this kit yesterday in the mail. Uh, oh, I'm glad it's not COVID, Linda, but I'm so sorry that you're not feeling so good. Um, 
Uh, I just pushed a button and didn't mean to. Um, I wonder what that, what does that mean, mom? You sent 200 stars. What does that mean? So I just, so funny. So I just got a notice on my screen that my mom sent me 200 stars and I don't know what that means. Oh, how funny. This is like a new feature. I'll have to look at it afterwards. Well, thanks, mom. Whatever that is. <laughs> uh, so I got this yesterday and I've been waiting for this one because this is all about the um, new ink colors. So let's take a look at it, right? This is the new end color one, right? So let me open this. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe this month is the end color one. No, this looks like end colors. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to keep my, my beautiful, um, tissue paper. It looks like it's in one of our in colors, so I'll keep that. And then let's look at what this is. Now, I'm already seeing a big sentiment, which you know I love. So let's take a look at that. Oh, Julie, did you see that too? Did you see like stars come through? I haven't done a Facebook Live in a while, so. Oh, it's that's so cool. Thanks, Mom. That's a new feature. I had never seen it before. Okay, so this looks like it's what is for, ready for the colorful year ahead. The two, two 22, 24 end colors are here. Here's your first look at the end colors, celebrating end colors paper pumpkin kit. The good news is, is that there's much more you can do with this kit with coordinating end color product release and the annual catalog, which has already been um, released. Oh, cool, Julie. That's kind of cool that you saw that too. How fun. And then it says by my mom's name, like it has a star by her name, like that she has sent me stars, which is kind of cool. Okay. So, um, I'll get off the star thing. I just, it's a new feature or something and it was kind of cool. So, uh, I've been doing lots with the new end colors. You guys know that I love them. I've really enjoyed them. So the annual catalog is live. So all of these items, the, the twine, the markers, the big set of ink pads, the designer paper, the glimmer paper, um, is, oh my gosh, how cute. Now Christine sent me 200 stars. How cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this. As soon as I'm done with the live, I'm going to figure out what the star thing is. Um, maybe anybody that sends a star, I'll have to send a, a card, a handmade card to just for fun. Um, okay. So here's the instructions. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys look at this. These are the cards. Okay. So we have, these are fun. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's sending stars. I'm going to get totally distracted and have to figure this out. Okay. Um, okay. So here's the card bases. So if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin, uh, Paper Pumpkin is a really cool crafting kit that you get in the mail every month. You can get like a prepaid subscription. So you can do like uh, one month. You can do... Um, so I think these are like separated. So I think these are card bases too. Um, you can do three months, six months, a year, and you get it every month. Look at how pretty this is. Now, I have not really thought to pair like gold or um or silver with these colors yet i tend to do like gold and silver and like embossing i i tend to do that a little bit more closer to the holidays so this is really pretty this gold is really pretty with um with these colors and look this looks like faux dipped have you guys seen that technique where you do um the you layer colors on there and the like you layer the color on there in several um like several times and it gives you this faux dipped 
look now this is really pretty so this is cool so it has these gold accents and then you get all of these items to make cards so then we have this one here I used to not like using gold on my cards, believe it or not. I thought it looked kind of tacky, um, but I have gotten used to it. So now here's the green and gold. So I don't know. Do you like the blue and gold better? So here's it with red. Here's it with green. And then here's it with blue. Okay, so that's cool. The gold pairing with this is cool. Okay, so then we have some of these, okay, and our card bases. And then this is what I'm really excited about. I love me a good envelope liner. So this looks like it is all the in colors. So how cool is this? Now, I wish we had these envelopes just in here. So, um, okay, so Christine, Julie, Roberta, and Debbie all sent stars. Thanks so much, you guys. Whatever that means, we'll figure it out. So I wish we had these in our store just to have them because they're gorgeous and they go with our in colors, right? So how cool would it be to have um, these? And if you look, um, it, it's like this fun design. It's not just the one color, right? It is the... Uh, it has a little bit of a design. So let's do my favorite color and let's do green. So that's, um, and then I'm going to look at these. Okay, so this will be fun. This, I guess this green one will be fun, right? Okay, so it is just a, looks like it's just a regular card base. So a plain card base. Now, you know, I'm probably going to have to add a little something to this. So let's grab our bone folder. So a couple of our other in color products I'm gonna pull out because I can't help myself. So this is the in color. There's a countdown for a star party. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so this is the glimmer paper. And let me show you guys um, some other fun in color stuff. I gotta grab them. Okay, so this one, I, I, okay, let me just grab these two. Okay, so I had to get these. They were so fun. Okay, let me get back here. Okay, so Stampin' Up! came out with some branded product. And there's these tumblers. So it's a cup. See, my camera is really close to my desk. But it's a tumbler. It says Stampin' Up! And then it's in the end colors. Oh, so there's like a real countdown happening? <laughs> Christine said, no, really, in like 10 seconds. Okay, we'll have to see what happens. I'm on a little bit of a delay. Um, and then there's this one. So this one is in the green, which is my favorite. And then this is the sorbet color, the sweet sorbet. And I really like this one. And then I, I got three of them. So I got those and then I got this blue one. And this blue one is gorgeous. It has water in it, so I can't tip it. Um, but that's this glimmer paper is what reminded me of those. So you can get those tumblers. So these customers can get these. So a lot of times branded merchandise from Stampin' Up! only comes, like only demonstrators can purchase it, um, which is fun as a demonstrator. It's fun to get this, but this time they release this to customers. So if you want these, I will put links up as soon as I'm done and there'll be links in the YouTube description. If you want these, I believe they are $17 and then, um, it's stainless steel inside. So it'll keep your drink warm. And then it has the lid and then, um, this slides. So that slides. Oh, thank you, Linda, for the stars. Um, so this is really fun. It reminds me of this glimmer paper. So I got three of them. I think Roberta, um, did you, Roberta, did you get all five? I think Roberta got all, all five colors. So I got, um, the green, the sorbet, and then the dark blue, the dark blue and this light blue, they kind of look similar. So I didn't get this one, but I might get this one. 
Um, so I love them. And so fun that Stampin' Up! did that uh, and allow is for customers too. So that is fun. That's some of the, and I've been using this one a ton. Kayla really likes this one. Her favorite color is blue. So I've been using it for my water and then I just have a stainless steel straw in it. Roberta said, um, so far I only have two. I'm ordering the other two on my club order. So she's going to put uh, it in. Okay, so here's the card base. We're going to do a green one. And I have the designer paper and then I have the glimmer paper that I might add to it. Okay, so I'm going to do this exactly how the instructions say, just for the first one. Okay, so for this one, it wants me to use these. And it wants me to use a lot of these. Okay, and then there's another piece. Oh, it would be Roberta, the baker's twine. I have that too, I can add. But I'm looking for uh, this other piece it wants me to have. Okay, so now I don't really know what these are for. What are these? Because it looks like, like you make a pocket or something. So on the, this is the instruction, number five. Am I going to have to read? I don't really like having to read instructions. Oh, maybe it's for inside the card. Because on here, it looks like they put it like inside the card. Right? Oh, a gift card. Thank you, Debbie. Listen, a demonstrator of the year here. Uh, didn't even know. Okay, so this is a, like a gift card holder. And it goes inside. Okay, so we'll need that. And then it wants me to use a lot of these. Like it, but I don't have any. Do I have any more of these? I'm, I thought I'm supposed to make be able to make multiple cards. But this wants me to use five. Oh, so maybe you get to make two each of each card. Okay. This is really thick too. I like these punch outs there. It's pretty thick. Okay. So make sure my card's opening the right way. I just put together a card yesterday and it was upside down. And I was like, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so I'm not going to do this how it said. I know I said I was going to, but I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do is maybe add some designer paper. I love this green. It's so pretty. So let's cut this at four by five and a quarter. So we can use it on the card front. I know. <laughs> I always rebel, Christine. I always do. I can never take it. I just have to. And then I'm thinking that this would look pretty on here like this. Okay, let's let's get a little bit of a of it laid out here. Okay. So then what it wants me to do is use the happy which is in gold on here. Um, what do you say we color this? Uh, with How about some blends? Let's do some, some blending on here. Okay, so I have the dark and I have the light. Now, this has a bit of a coating on it, so I don't know how well this is going to work. But let's... Oh, this is going to be fine. So 
So there is a set of blend markers for each color, which is fun. Now I prefer to color with blend markers because they're alcohol based. So they give you a really smooth, I don't like to color. It's not really my favorite thing to do. And uh, it's because I'm a perfectionist and I want everything to look perfect. <laughs> and so with alcohol markers, you get a really smooth, smooth look, which is, I feel like, helpful if you don't like to color. So I'm just adding the dark to the bottom. We're going to do a little ombre effect. So since over here, since it's lighter here and darker here, we're going to do the opposite and do darker darker on the bottom and then lighter on the top. So then we'll come in with our light. Does anybody remember? My mom will probably remember this. When we were kids, um, oh, this doesn't, it's not much different. As I'm putting it on here, it's not much lighter. When we were kids, there was like an ice cream truck that would uh, come down the street every day. And popsicles were a quarter. And then these really big ices were a dollar and I remember as a kid uh save you know like we'd get a quarter I mean we wouldn't get one every day but you know we'd get a quarter and we could get a popsicle on the truck and I would save my quarters so that when I would get four of them I could get the really big icy and the green, I love the green flavor of the ices. So this didn't really give an ombre effect. I'm going to go back and see if I can make the bottom a little bit darker. It didn't like do the ombre effect how I really wanted it to. And that might be because of the paper, the coating on the paper, or some colors just work better are like... All of a sudden, this one card that should have taken two seconds has turned into a 45-minute card. Um, but I really, I thought this ombre effect would be so cool. So anyways, that's what this green reminds me of, are those ICs. Okay, that did it a little bit more coming back in. Remember, you can always layer, especially with blends, you can always layer. Okay, let me see comments really quick. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing the video. Okay, so we'll have this like so. And then we're going to have happy on here. And then is there a secondary... Oh, let's look at the stamp set. I haven't looked at that. So it says, happy you uh, to celebrate your day, to have you in my life. Yeah, so there's a secondary, like the rest of this. I guess it's not secondary. I guess it's just the rest. So let's do So I'm, I don't even, I don't even know you guys. I don't even know what these instructions are telling me to do. I, I just, I don't even want to read them. I'm just going to do my own thing. Okay. And we're going to grab my parakeet party ink pad and we're going to stamp this. I'm going to see if I can stamp it straight. So happy. Let's do to have you in my life. And then here's a little tip, a little tip. 
Uh, I keep one of these uh, Tombow adhes adhesives on hand because it's not permanent. I'll send off this card to somebody who sent stars in. I'll send everybody who sent stars uh, since I don't know exactly what that means yet. Um, but I'll send everybody who sent stars a handmade card. And this will be one of them that I'll send. I'll even send one to my mom. Maybe I'll send my mom a set of cards. Okay, so I'm going to... So I put that adhesive on there to hold it down. Okay. Oh, that didn't turn out too bad. And I know this is longer than it needs to be. So then I'm going to show you another little trick. And then to get this exact... flag at the end we're just going to use it as a template that will give us sort of now I'm feeling like I don't like that okay so let's put this together okay so let's do this flag. oh this would be cute what side you guys what what would be better Mm, I think maybe the design, since that's solid. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Heather. Glad you're here. Okay, so I'm just going to use liquid glue, and I have about 30 of these in my drawer. That's better. Oh yeah, I love this color. This is pretty. Okay. Right, all right. Okay, now let's add these. And I think there's like, um, see how on here, like this is the gold is lower and then it's like in the middle and then it's higher. So that's, that's, I want to put that in there. This paper that they're on, it's thicker. It's almost like watercolor paper. Like it has a little bit of texture to it. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I just knocked something over. I think the our our internet provider i think they're do, working on lines or something because they've been i hope i don't lose internet they've been all over our street today okay and then this one And we'll put this here. So there's just a little gap in between. I like that better with the color underneath it. Okay. Right. And then we have happy. And this I'm going to put on dimensionals. That looks cool on the back. So let me grab some dimensionals. And because this is all together, it's going to be easy to add dimensionals onto this. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to, um, I use all of these pieces of my dimensionals. I always cut the edges. There's no point in wasting any of that, right? And that'll fit right there. Okay, so we'll pop this piece up. Um, somebody, somebody's texting me, but I can't see because I'm live. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have that and that should be good. I don't like things to droop. So I would rather have too many dimensionals than not enough. Okay, so then we're gonna line this up right here. I want it over that gold. I want some gold popping out. And then um, we'll go ahead and put this flat. So it kind of tucks. Mm, I wonder if I should not quite big enough to put oh thanks Linda I have another one but I haven't been wearing it on camera because I feel like it looks obnoxious the happy looks really good I really like the way it turned out so let's just add this right underneath Sometimes I know um, there's a gal that watches my my videos. Oh, we need some embellishments. Let me grab my end color embellishments. Let me find them. I think, yeah, I have a pack already open. There's a gal that watches my YouTube and she always comments when I don't have my rings on. Like she likes me to wear them. But sometimes um, I struggle a bit with anxiety and uh, sometimes if I'm feeling really anxious, I don't like wearing jewelry. Like I need, I don't like things touching me. And so sometimes I won't wear my ring. Normally if you see me and I end my video and I'm not wearing my rings, that's why. Cause I'm, I'm struggling a little bit and I just can't have anything touching me. This would, Oh, sorry guys, this would also look good with gold embellishments, but I like the mono chromatic. Oh, thanks Renee for the stars. Um, the, um, I like the monochromatic look of this and I love the white border around the words with the white border of the card. So I like the way that came out. So one of you guys will get this because uh, I'm going to send a handmade card to anybody who sent stars today. Makes me a little nervous not knowing exactly what that feature is, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so then you could inside, I guess this is where you could put a gift card. Now, I think, uh, I, would, I would hope that it would fit in there, but I would imagine, oh, that's what you do. Okay, so that's why in your kit, you get this, which is tear and tape. That's why. I, it's all starting to make sense now. It's all coming back to me now. Any, any Celine Dion fans? Okay. So you stick the tear and tape, which this is just really aggressive adhesive. That's all this is. And you're going to stick that right on the flap. And then right on this flap. Okay. And then I like to take these off here with my X-Acto knife. So it just slides right under there and pulls that backing off. And then what I would do is I would stick this here in the corner. 
so that then I could write my message right here. <laughs> Renee says, yes, I'm a fan. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, so then the card would go in there. And I know it's a little bit hard to see here on camera, but because of the way the flaps are, you have, it's all the way edge to edge. You can get something in there because of the way they did that. So there's that. And then you would have your little gift card inside. So should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay, so I'll let you guys uh, vote here. Should we do the blue one or should we do the pink one? The dark blue or the pink? So let me look. I'm not going to show you how they're going to turn out because you guys know I'm probably going to... Change it up. Okay, so far two blues. Should we go with the blue? Okay. So this one, let me see which card base we need. So for this one, I think we need... All this stuff is just in a pile. I think we need this one. I think this matches. Okay, so see how this edge is down here? I think that it matches. Does it? Okay, maybe not, because that covers up. I should look. Well, uh, I don't really get it. Okay, so if we fold this like so, if I put this on the card base, it, oh, it just, it kind of just exactly lines up. So if you put that on, okay, so it's cut so that there'll be a little bit of white on the bottom. Okay, that makes sense. All right, but you all know that I'm going to... Do something different. So this one, it wants me to use this best wishes. Okay. Wants me to use that best wishes. And we could color it, but I feel like that would be kind of the same as we already did. So maybe I want to use this U right here. And then we would stamp on it from the stamp set. Uh, just, just for you. So let's grab our Starry Night. So that is the color we're using, Starry Night, which is the color of this tumbler, which I love, Starry Night. Okay, and that's Kayla's favorite. So Kayla, is. this is her last day of eighth grade. So let's, I'll try not to cry, but I am a little bit emotional. Uh, today is her last day of eighth grade and her eighth grade graduation. I'm going to get close to me so I can stamp this straight. Her eighth grade graduation is on Friday. She, her grades are amazing. She has no grade that is under 98% and most of them are, are at a hundred percent. So we are... Super proud of her. Um, and it's kind of a little bit sad. It is a little bit sad that she is graduating. Not sad because, just because she's getting older, you know? So um, she was very excited to uh, go to school today for her last day. I'm looking for my twine. So I have this big box <laughs> of all of my baker's twine and in here somewhere probably at the bottom wouldn't you know is my income yep they're at the bottom it's because of the way I dumped them in there um I think it's this one where's my green one and this one I'm missing one color I'm missing this one okay 
I can't help it. I love Baker's Twine. Well, you guys know, I love Roven, Baker's Twine, all of it. So, okay. So let's use Starry Night. And let's see how we're going to, how we're gonna fix this up. I don't wanna lose any of the gold. Right, and if we're gonna put this circle here, like so, and pop it up, but I'm feeling like maybe I want a little bit. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to hold this on here a little bit higher, whoops. I want it to line up and then I'm going to cut a little bit more out. So I'm just carefully following that. So it's just it's showing a little bit more. Okay. And then, um, yes, we're very, we're very proud of her, but we're also a little sad. She's starting high school next year, and I don't really understand exactly how that happened so quickly. So let's use, I want to use this floral piece. So let's. And I am sad to say that this paper is on back order as of right now. I think I'm going to have to use the polka dots. I used this plaid in the last one, so I wanted to use something different. Um, it is on back order right now. Unfortunately, I that's all the paper I have. And I went to order another set last night and realized that it was on back order. But they should be back in stock soon. Okay, so we're going to put this here inside the card. So let me grab my adhesive. Um, Esau worked uh, late today, and so he was able to take her to school. It was just her. We usually carpool with Wendy, but Wendy wanted to take Macy, and Grace's dad wanted to take Grace. Like, I think everybody wanted to take their kid for the last day. And so it was just Esau and Kayla, and that was nice. Because she likes doing that kind of stuff. I'll film some of it too, Mom. And send it to you. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. So now what I'll do is I will attach this. And then we'll trim some of it off. Okay. So let's, and these right here that you get inside the kit are the same as these. You just get a little bit less of them, right? So that's, I should have used those. I didn't realize because all my stuff is all over this desk. Oh my gosh. Renee, it's crazy, right? Violet is graduating sixth grade and she is having quite a bit of emotions about it. It's been a struggle around here. And then Kayla is graduating eighth grade, going to high school. Andrew is gonna be the only one left at the elementary school. So I stamped just four in that blue and I stamped it off to the side because I wanted to use some embellishments, but let's, or maybe I'll use some twine since I dug all of that out. Let's take this. I was going to wrap it around, but I don't think that that will look very good. I really just want those gold splatters to, um, to shine. Okay. So we'll take this and then let's trim this. 
down and then let's add this to the circle so the way i like to add my twine well most ribbon the way i like to add most ribbon is with glue dots so you put your little middle part of your bow in there and then what i like to do is push this into the glue dot and then push that glue dot kind of scrunch it up underneath See how you just scrunch it up underneath that circle? And then that also pops it up a little bit, but then it will also not, um, that's gonna be on the front of your card. So you don't want that any of that glue dot showing or it's gonna stick to the envelope. So we just put that right there. And that's kind of cute, it's off-centered. And then let's add some more dimensionals. I wonder if I have a piece. I have a, this piece of foam. So let's just make it a circle. Or I don't even need to. It's small enough. Okay. Can you guys see that? Nope. I'm not even on camera. My desk, I need to push my desk farther this way because I'm really having to lean over. If you guys saw how much I was leaning over, I think my desk got pushed back a little ways. Violet sits in here a lot in the evening and she pushes with her little feet. It's like I want this to hang off the edge, but it, it does look good in this, all in this gold splatter. Okay, and then of course, we're gonna use some, some bling. Again, and I'll put that right in all of the gold. These are so pretty. Oh, I just love these cards, you guys. They're so pretty. Okay, so there's that, and then you open it up. Now your message could go here, or you could put, you know, a piece of um, white in there. And then it does have a, a little gift holder card again. And I don't want to put it in, though, because I, I made this smaller. Um, like, I don't want it hanging. I don't want it to be seen. And then if I put it up here, the card is going to... Um, the gift card would cause a problem for the card closing. So there's that one. So then where's our green one that we just had? Right here. <clears throat> and then, oh my word, they pair with these envelopes, which I totally forgot about. Where'd my envelope go? How pretty is this? Oh, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up the rest of these. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just put everything together um, in a bag and then I do it as a giveaway at the, you know, either during my, my live or at the end of the year when I'm doing a big... Um, uh, clean out, you know, and I'm selling my retired stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up several more of these and anybody who sent a star and I'm going to figure out what that means and then I'll post what it means. <laughs> so whoever sent stars today, I will send you one of these cards and I'm not going to write in them. I'll just put a little post-it note in there and then that way you can use the card um, yourself uh, for whatever you want and um, I think that will be really fun. So I'll make up some more of these, some more of the colors, and then I will send these off at the end of the week. I'm doing all of my shipping at the end of the week. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these cards. I love our new end colors. I think they're so pretty. Um, I have gotten all of the end color stuff. I have gotten the designer paper, the glimmer paper, the stamp pads, the reinkers, the blends. I just have loved. Um, I usually don't go so crazy with our ink colors. I usually get the designer paper and the ink pads and then I wait to get anything else. But this year, I just have fallen in love with them. So I've gotten everything, even the tumblers. <laughs>
<laughs> so um, I told Esau, I feel like I just need all five. So I have the collection like... Um, so I will put a post, I'm going to do a blog post. Um, you'll see the video, you will see photos. I will take photos of the other cards that I create. And then, um, I will also, uh, post that on Facebook and then all the links, uh, the links for the tumblers for paper pumpkin. And then also, uh, for the end colors, I'll do a whole supply list for you guys so that you can, um, see those. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to go and finish up these cards, clean up my space, and then get back to my computer because I have a lot of computer work to do today. So we'll do that. And then I'll be back on Friday to share some memory keeping uh, things with you guys. I've been sharing memory keeping on Fridays. Uh, two weeks ago, I shared my last year's Project Life album. I did a flip through. And then last Friday, I shared this year's um, album. And then this coming up Friday, I will be doing a scrapbooking page, a traditional scrapbook page. So, um, I will be sharing that. It'll be in a video and a blog post. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm so excited to have gotten to connect with you today and I will catch you on Friday in my next video. I hope everybody has a great week.